Merry Christmas. I used to hate Christmas music, but now I'm on some special medication called Tinsel Triptyline. My name is Trish Adudu, and welcome to Vintage Key Studio. Today I'm going to be playing and showing you the Veltmeister Clavisette 200. This was made in 1963 by the Klingenthaler Harmonica Werke Company. As far as I'm aware, it was developed after a couple of other instruments they'd made, and there was, uh, there was a few other things Hona were making at the same time. It's a, a simple idea, and best demonstrated if I just show you around the instrument first. Let me take you on a tour of the Weltmeister Klaviset 200 from 1963. It's got the this lovely stand, which all of the Weltmeister instruments, the organs and the pianos, all had this. It's basically just a some bent, bent bits of metal that fit in and look quite nice. Reminds me a bit of an Ondi's Martino st music stand, actually, sort of thing, although theirs was more like that. You can see, obviously, the keyboard, and it's got some controls here. It's got an, a lovely pedal. The right-hand one is a sustain pedal, and it uses the old-fashioned bicycle brake cable idea. Basically, there's a nut that pulls down on the top section, and another section like this, and it kind of pulls them up and then pulls the dampers up. And then when you release it, it uh, goes back down again and the dampers fall back down. So it goes like that. So it pulls it up and then it pulls, pulls it back, pushes it back down. Left hand pedal is a expressional volume pedal, which is uh, sort of like a, a, an insert point into the electronics underneath. It's got incremental latches on the side, so you can you can keep it uh, there or or there. So it's quite useful. Very like a harpsichord, actually. Harpsichords like that. Well, at least mine does, anyway. So as you can see, it's it's been around a bit. Uh, this actually hasn't got its original legs. Uh, the original legs, if I just go and get them for you. It would have originally sat on four of these, but unfortunately I've only got one. Four of these under here, each side. Um, but if anyone's got <coughs> any more of these, I'd love them, because uh, it'd be nice to have it as it originally was. If anybody else has got any more of these legs, then please do send them. I'd love loads of legs. Now, this is a electric piano sort of idea. I'm going to have to move this Christmas tree. But if we open it up, like that, you can see that instead of hitting the notes or striking the notes like a, an Fender Rhodes or a Wurlitzer would do, this actually plucks. If we look just down in here, if I play that just there. So it plucks these little tines, little reeds that are all tuned. And then when I press the sustain pedal, you can see that it pulls this lever up here and lifts all of the damper springs with the, the damper felts on. You can hear some of the notes are a bit uneven on this. Um, it, all of the uh, the little plectra inside are made of some sort of rubber that uh, I, I would guess, I haven't really looked a huge amount at this thing, but I, I would imagine it's sort of like quite um, brittle these days. So it just about works. I'm sure I'm going to have to get some new things one day. Um, you can also see here it, it runs off of a, a, a 9 volt battery. Now originally it had I ran off the old-fashioned big square, the 4.5 volts, so it had two of those. But I just wired it up to one of them because it was, it was quicker and easier and cheaper than trying to find some old ones. You've got a little preamp in here and the tone controls up here. So it's all very straightforward and simple, 
Although it isn't that, because if you can't find a manual or a schematic, it's a complete nightmare. Let's just sort of show you some of the, um, the wonderful functions. Now this thing sounds very like an ice cream van. Choices. That was the xylophone setting. So basically on here, from here to here, you've just got tone filters. So if I just go through them in order, so you've got the bass one, which is sort of quite nice. And then we've got guitar, which is like a slightly louder version of the bass. And then we've got tutti, which must be the bass and guitar type idea together. Similar sort of idea to a um, guitar pickup, because uh, I have a feeling that this thing inside has got, I'm not sure if it's got two pickups, it might have two pickups inside, I'll have a look in a minute. Then we have piano and vibraphone. A bit of harp, which sounds the same. Celeste, ah. Music box, metallophone, and then the ice cream van xylophone. The other thing it has on this is the vibrato circuit. So at the moment it says vibrato off! Vibrato slow. Vibrato medium. Vibrato fast. I wonder if it lets you, no, you can't, it's either or, you can't combine them. Then vibrato off! Yeah, so it's all it's all basically just one switch per sound and one switch per vibrato. Um, and then it's got an on-off switch here, off, on. Joe Meek had one of these in his 61 Holloway Road studio, but it wasn't called a Weltmeister Claviset 200, it was called a Pianotron, because they were made or sold in, in this country. I have a feeling by Selma, but I could be wrong. Write in the comments if I'm wrong and you're right. I've also got a Weltmeister organ, which is not actually in the studio at the moment because it's pretty awful. But the good thing about it is it's, it's sort of blue. So it's like a, a kind of a ocean blue colour and the, it's all blue plastic. Um, it's got some quite nice mini quadrant uh, patent qu quadrant faders or whatever you know they used to have on mixing desks to set the sounds but uh, I've never really bothered fixing it because it didn't sound too good when I first got it but one of these days I might do or I might modify it and do something with it. I'll show that in the video one day when it's here. At Vintage Keys this keyboard is known as the Christmas keyboard because we always get it out at Christmas. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Oh, I was going to look at the pickups. Must be there. It is just one long set of pickups on here. Each pickup is right by the end of each of the reeds that it plucks. And um, then I'll give you a bit more of a closer look up on the uh, circuitry underneath as well. And it's got this sort of intricate switching system. So there we have it. The Weltmeister Claviset 200 from 1963. Quite a quirky thing and a sound all by, its, by itself, really. We occasionally use it here. It's sort of uh, whenever anyone wants something that kind of like cuts through and either sounds a bit wrong or spooky. We did a, recently did a Halloween song. It was a, I Put a Spell on You, the Screaming Jay Hawkins song. And this was involved in that. It's, it's quite a characterful thing. And um, I think it'll just, uh, it'll always be here. Anyway, have a wonderful Christmas. From me, Trish Adudu. This is me signing off. Good night. If you've enjoyed this video, why not subscribe to our channel and you'll get informed of every time we do a new one. If you would like to help support the studio, please log on to our Patreon page, which is patreon.com forward slash vintage keys studio. Thank you very much. <laughs>